Hey everybody, this is Mary Agnes Antonopoulos. I'm Jordan Belfort's social strategist and I get this message from Jordan today. I'm at my lake house in upstate New York in the USA and uh, when you're successful enough you two can have a lake house <laughs> and you can be forced to have to shoot this video from it because you want to get it quickly to the people Jordan's working with who have um, you've invested three days of your life to try and cram in as much learning as you can. So I'm just going to add a little bit to that learning. If you're on every social network there is, you're doing it wrong. You're spending a lot of time. And, you know, social media can be a time suck. So screw that. <laughs> I'm going to teach you two things today. One is what networks do you need to be on? And two... What do you do when you get there? So I'm going to teach you number two first. Throw away everything you know about social media and start shooting it vi on video. This is so important because Google owns YouTube. So if you get your videos onto YouTube, the algorithm for how YouTube answers a search, their search engine optimization, matches Google's because they write them. One network does not know the search algorithm of another network, believe me. So, for instance, when you get your videos on YouTube, they start popping up all over on Google. When you put them on Facebook, that doesn't happen, does it? No way, guys, no way. So you're going to think of your social media content like a tree from now on. The trunk of your tree is video. The first limb is YouTube. That populates YouTube and Google. The next limb is Google+. Get those videos out on Google+, even if the only thing you do on Google+, is video. The next thing is put them on your LinkedIn profile. Your LinkedIn profile is a really important space because that's where high executives and professionals try to figure out who the other players are. <clears throat> How is the best way to introduce yourself? Well, I could have sent you a bio and a picture and a to-do list of this. Is it as engaging, dynamic, and valuable? No. Do you feel like you know me a little? You probably do. I mean, the human mind is made to discern thousands of things that we consciously don't recognize, like tonality of voice. And is someone sincere? You can read that in their eyes. So I want your LinkedIn profile to have a great video of you. Don't do it at your lake house. Do it at a little studio. <laughs> okay. Next place. Put your video on Facebook, but load it in, right? Don't just share the YouTube link. Facebook's organic engagement, that's how many people see your stuff on the stream of Facebook, is down to less than 4%. You know what makes it go up? If you post your content to Facebook directly. Don't post it through Hootsuite. Don't share a link to YouTube. Load your videos and your posts directly to Facebook. Hire a VA to do it if you have to. But I mean, getting your content on Facebook straight onto Facebook and out to that audience, more people will see it because Facebook's algorithm says so. How do I know that? I do a lot of this. I know what I'm doing. Okay, and Jordan only brings the best experts. All right, you guys, I think that might be about it for content. Oh, no, no, strip your, your video, strip your audio off of your video and create a podcast. It's really important. Get your videos transcribed and then use those transcriptions on Facebook, your blog, your tweets. Make your content really purposeful for you so you can stop the time suck of social media. I want you to create an entire week of content and a chapter of your ebook in four hours of creation and curation, okay? All right, you guys, this is what the hell do you do on social media? The next video is where do you belong?